have a confession. I love Kesha. I can't help myself. <sighs> there are serious problems in this world, though. The earthquake in Japan, 2004, a tsunami devastated Asia. 9-11 still haunts our discourse. A friend asked in her blog, am I a bad person? I'm living my life watching TV while people are being devastated across the globe. I thought back to 9-11. Not the news, the music released that day. I thought about Mariah Carey's Glitter, the soundtrack to that glorious movie. Number one soundtrack that week. People were buying it. Number seven album. What in the hell is wrong with us? I mean, really? I don't think anything's wrong with us. Because when you really think about 9-11, you think about the fact that record amounts of money were raised to help the victims. What you think about are the fact that you had everyone railing around New York City. Nothing's wrong with us. We understand the real problem. The fact that people were harming innocent victims, that was the tragedy of 9-11, not pop culture, as interesting as it was. You see, pop culture is like a baby snuggled in a blanket, held by someone wearing a Snuggie. It's comforting, it's familiar, but it goes beyond that, way beyond that. Because pop culture is making you laugh right now, it brings people together. It's that common reference point. You talk about watching snakes on a plane with your friends at the movies. Watching the lions on TV disappoints you every season. We laugh together, we complain together. But no matter what, pop culture is bringing us together. And that's the thing. When we start being brought together, that's when we start being able to do things. You see, when we're afraid to smile or laugh, that's when we're all alienated from one another. When problems are too big, nothing is worth solving. Why try when there's no hope? When someone asks me, why you, do you like reality TV? Don't you feel ashamed? What am I supposed to say? You're right, I'm a terrible person. No! You put up a wall, you block them out. Because liking trashy television shows and watching, and watching all that terrible stuff doesn't make you a bad person. We want to smile, and we want to smile with other people. We want people to feel good. Because people are ultimately good. We need to be more like this guy, Flavor Flav. Turn the surreal life into a golden opportunity on VH1. He proliferated guilty pleasures for years to come. But we can do more. Let's plug into our memes. A lot of people supported that RoboCop statue. Some smart ass on Twitter suggested. Before you know it, it's funded. Pissed off a lot of people too, though. How can you fund that? Can't you use your money for something better? Like what? That started Robo Charity, funded Forgotten Harvest, provided tens of thousands of meals to hungry Detroiters. Let's embrace our guilty. My friends driving to Philadelphia as we speak to meet up with some friends to engage in their indulge their love of pretty sparkly boys in science fiction. So many people are driving there, though, that they decide to start a small science fiction convention. They're raising money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and a local animal shelter. So tweet her right now and tell her she's awesome. And it's not just fangirls and nerds that can do this. The American Red Cross gets it, too. They use Charlie Sheen's meltdown to raise awareness for all the awesome stuff they do. Timely, humorous. You like trivial things, and that makes you awesome. We need to accept that in ourselves and accept it in other people. I leave you with the wise words of RuPaul. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else? Can I get an amen in here? My name is Laura Farms. And I started.
Guilty Fabulous because I believe the trivial can be tremendous. Thank you.